day-to-day uh, -day stuff is done by one group of people, and then there's the thinkers and planners, and we kind of make it happen there. So let me go right into the, some of the things I wanted to say. I may have misspelled Sean's name. Let's not tell him. Sean, are you in here? Okay, good. I, I wanted to thank you guys. I used to run trade shows. In fact, my first trade show, I founded the prepaid phone card industry, and I was one of the founders of the telecom deregulation market. So everything from, oh my gosh, uh, pay phones, operator services, information services, uh, voice over the internet, voice over IP, if you will. And my first trade show was here, and we started it on a shoestring, and we sold it for $35 million over it. We ran, moved it up to the Javits Center and sold it. And one of the things I teach, and I had five grand when I started my companies, and one of the things I like to teach people in business, especially in this business, because I love the affiliate space, is that you don't have to start with a lot to make a lot. You really don't. And the internet is allowing any of you to play that game. It really, really is. And I'll go through a number of things. I'm not going to teach you about affiliate marketing. You know that. I'm not going to teach you about lead gen or domain names in markets that I still like and play in a little bit. I'm going to give you kind of a higher level thinking to how to make a killing as opposed to making a living. Because I made an income and then I made several incomes and then I sold a company and I learned how do you get to that area quicker, faster, better, smarter so that you can then do it better the next time. And I did it better each time. Always put in this uh, one reminder. Uh, when I leave my house, and this was the last trade show when I left, I said to my wife, would you love me if I didn't have any money? And she looked at me. She said, would I love you if you didn't have any money? I said, yeah. Would you love me if you didn't have any money? She goes, yeah, I'd love you. I'd miss you, but I'd love you. <laughs> I love the topic of information. And I, you know, it's funny, the light, can we turn the light down a little bit on the front end, if possible? Because they're dual color slides. It just makes it easier. I don't make a fancy, a fancy presentation because in this world, I'm just trying to get nuggets through. If any of you can remember three or four of these nuggets, it will help. The big multimedia presentation, I went to the National Speakers Association, and we had a woman up there who was describing, and I can't do it justice, the younger generation who can text, watch TV, eat, use a computer, answer their, answer their email, and walk and listen to music all at the same time. So I always decide I'm just going to make it simple. I hope I get a few pieces across to each of you. And you have to know, I do what you guys do. I, I walk the halls. I don't fly first class. I enjoy myself. I go out at night. I try not to get into trouble. I love the topic of information. Uh, you know it when you share it. Both of us know it. I was in the trade show business. I was in the magazine business. I'm now in the internet space because in the publishing business, we had three assets, people, postage, and printing. The internet allows me to do the same thing. Very few people, no postage, no printing. It has completely changed our world in a very big way. So I learn, grow, share, interact, and, and I swear to you, I work a trade show. I'm not a drinker. I don't sit at the bar and drink all night. But I sit there and I listen and I learn and I go to my competitors. I find out who's offering what. Do you guys go by and look at your competitors and talk to them? and see what they're doing, and really get to know them, you would be amazed how much information you can get from a competitor who will tell you everything. Everything. They're just standing there in their booth like this, waiting to talk to someone. Now most of them, and I hope you're an exhibitor, watch this. Most exhibitors, and we watched this over the years for trade shows, they stand there like this, behind their booth, and they wait. So. We have a company called uh, Cufflinks.com. We went, and I took my younger partner to the show, and he stood there waiting. I said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm waiting for people to come by. I said, no. Let someone else do that. Walk around the show with me. And we did 10 times the revenue going to the other booths to work with us 
and buy and sell our product as he did in the booth selling to the people walking by. There's money to be made doing deals with other people in other booths. You just don't think that. Most people don't think that way. I have grown up in the trade show business, so I really, really, really like it. And I, there's a way to work a show. Um, when we, through trade shows, we look for speakers that are educational and entertaining, but the bigger picture, the bigger picture for all of us, the trade show company, as well as you all, is what's the short-term and long-term outlook of what we're dealing with? Whether it's the affiliate market or leads or ClickBank yesterday, how do we put it together? How do we make it more efficient? How do we make it faster, better, quicker, smarter, cheaper, and make more money?